All right, welcome to the feature demo for the Digital Library of the Middle East. Uh, this concludes most of the uh, back end work that we have been working on, and this is more focused on user features. This is a spotlight exhibit built on top of Blacklight and indexed items um, from our um, individual institutions that we've processed so far include um, many different languages, many different types. We also have included the spatial extent, so you can filter by those informa that information, as well as uh, date facets. Uh, we are still in the process right now of creating um, which elements need to be uh, in this facet, which are the most useful, but right now all of them are. We also have a be the beginnings of an about page that is being migrated from our current website at dlme.clear.org, as well as additional pages, so all, all of our content can be migrated to this one particular site. Users can currently search everything, title or creator, by putting in a search, or search for everything by simply clicking on the icon here. We are still working on getting thumbnails uh, for most image types, but as you can see, when you have a actual uh, exhibit with thumbnails, items, thumbnails are shown on the left-hand side and the individual items are then shown on this in, uh, page with links back into the actual contributing repository that provided the content. We're also looking at rich data types like maps that allow you to zoom in and zoom out with an image overlay of the map with all of the metadata uh, from the individual records as well as links back to the individual records. On the admin back end, we're also able now to create feature pages where we can create new content by simply clicking a few buttons and adding new pages. So if we wanted to add a new page, we simply write in here, new page, and click save and then able to edit the page content. And have this immediately available as soon as it's live. On the back end, there are also pages for about pages. Uh, and we are currently moving all of this information over from our current site into the new site. We also have uh, configuration options for the main site, as well as uh, the ability to turn off and turn um, and edit metadata fields, as well as control how the searches are being displayed. You can also incorporate items into pages. Here, we're creating a new page first. We then select the item row widget to add a new item or set of items to a page. We select the item from the dropdown based on a search, add a heading and some text for that item, and then save the page. We also specify that this text should be the primary caption for the, this object. And it's just that easy to embed images or other items directly in pages. Um, I think the one other thing that, that we should probably touch on briefly since it was a major part of the work that we did during this work cycle is I, I'd say probably a good 80% of the work was getting uh, the, the data pipeline in place. So um, we received uh, records from, I believe, about seven or eight institutions, or that's what's currently represented in, um, 
uh, in the data set that we have right now. And uh, given that each of them used, uh, there, were, there were a number of different institutions that used uh, different kinds of metadata. So everything from mods records to different kinds of CSV files, uh, TEI data for encoded text uh, objects. Um, a lot of the work that we had to do was to go ahead and process and, and normalize that data into uh, a, a common representation. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth, but I, I'd encourage anybody from, from the development team to jump in if they want. This is something that we covered in, on the last two demo videos. That, that was really the, the major part of the effort that, um, that the team put in and, and will be a continuing ongoing part of the work given, um, given the need to really ac accurately pull in data from lots of different sources. The one thing I, I think I would add about this is that um, the way that this has been designed makes it relatively simple to add different data, or data sets into the system, which is um, one of the most clever ways I've seen this done. Um, and it, I mean, I, I just tip my hats to the engineers who came up with these solutions. Um, it is not dependent primarily on engineers adding this stuff. It is um, on its way to being user friendly. And I, I again tip my hat to the efforts that they put in on this. Just the, the one other thing I would add is that as, as Wayne said, uh, we're given that uh, our the Stanford work cycle has now closed, we're basically in a process of transition to handing on, handing responsibility for off to Wayne uh, for getting data into um, uh, uh, into the prototype, so we are continuing to do that outreach with a number of, to a number of different institutions, and that data load, that sort of planning for data load uh, is, is still going on. Wayne will be taking on that responsibility, and Stanford staff will still be available in case that he has any difficulties.